After college, I went on a geographic and ended up in Hawaii. I ended up bartending in Hawaii for 10 years and um, decided to come back to New York and go back to school. There's a book called What Color Is My Balloon? And I filled that out. And I've always liked working with people, helping people. I wanted to be in a healing profession, a healing field, something where I'm on my feet and work in more of an active job as opposed to being behind a desk and came up with physical therapy and the rest is history. When I decided to become a physical therapist, I had to apply to graduate programs and part of it is doing volunteer work. So one of the first places I did volunteer work was at Beth Israel and um, I'd never volunteered for anything in my life. I always got paid for what I did, but here I was going twice a week to Beth Israel inpatient and loving it like I've never loved a job before. At that point, I realized this is what I want to do. This is going to be, you know, my life's work. So the great thing about the field is you're always seeing new diagnosis, you're always seeing new patients, so there's a lot of fluidity to it. I'm always learning new exercises. You know, when I came out of physical therapy, school for example, you know, there wasn't anything called dynamic stretching, which is now all the rage now. So we used to stretch ham hamstrings very differently than we do now. So the field is changing with research. And you know, every time you have a new patient, it could be the same diagnosis, but it's with a different patient. So it's always new. And the challenge is you're working with people. So people are always different. So you're always going to have a different scenario. It could be a wrist fracture or post-op ACL, but the person makes it different. And I like working with people. I like, you know, getting people literally back to what they want to do. You know, I'm helping them heal, really. And that's something that doesn't get old for me. A lot of times I have patients who I have to push to do more. And sometimes I have patients that I have to pull back and they're doing too much. You know, getting into their shoes and seeing the injury from their point of view helps me push them in the right direction or pull them back if needed. From the first time I went in to the office, I liked the feel, the vibe at Spear. It's open from the front desk people, they're friendly to the therapists. And even today, today's my first day, you know, but Abby and Kathy, great energy, the patients are healing, but a good environment, you know, and that's kind of what I was looking for.